So do we want to immediately start developing a new game, or do we want to... I think we do. We want to get up enough points to do a game engine quickly, so let's um, pick our platform. We know RPG is good. Do we want to do another RPG? We know a lot about... We're getting we're getting pretty good at RPGs. I think we do. We'll do an alternate history one. That, that's got to be okay. Or we could do, like, um, like Campaign Trail 79 or something. No, we'll, alternate history. Here we go. Yeah, so we're kind of focusing on RPGs. You know, we're we're okay at RPGs. I think we're get, we're getting better at it. We know gameplay is important. Let's just um, cut down on that just a little bit. We want this to really be gameplay focused. You know, because we know that's important for RPGs. We don't know if it's that important in this uh, here. We uh, don't apparently. Apparently, we know nothing about any of this. Let's um, let's balance out dialogues and artificial intelligence just a little bit. You know, just. I don't really have a reason to do that, but we haven't heard anything really one way or the other, so... I just left it the same between the last two games. They got, like, sixes and sevens, so who knows. We know world design's really important. We're just going to only focus on world design. That seems to be number one here. Oh, look at all that research. A lot of bugs showing up in this one. We need to fix some of those bugs. He fixes bugs really quick. Oh, whoa, ho, ho! The console called the TES. What is the T for? I don't know. The totally electronic system uh, will be released early next year. It uh, has a uniquely designed controller. It's true. Here we go. Oh, it's off the market. We sold twenty thousand. Oh, we actually broke the twenty thousand mark. One hundred forty thousand. Let's just let's just finish this. Finish this piece of crap. I forgot to give it a name. Game three. Oh, that's not a sign of quality, right there. Oh no, that's really you know. But we, it, it sort of reflects the uh, culture of the time where we were just trying to, like, push this through, get enough research to make our own engine. We weren't really worried about it. this game. We didn't... Tim wasn't really that worried about this game. He just... He just it, was a, it was sort of a learning experience. This was our Metroid. Maybe it'll hit it big, but in reality, it, like, ev not every console got a, got a version of that Metroid game, you know. It's not good. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's very bad. Oh, yeah. This thing, we just, you know... We had something, we're building on the shoulders of what we'd done before, and before we know it, we put it on a lunchbox and we sold it. It's okay, though. I guess it's okay. It's not that bad. It's, it's got, you know, upper fives, like almost a six. That's a, So that's better than I thought, I guess. Oh, wow, it's actually not selling that bad. It wasn't that great. It wasn't that bad. Oh, whoa. Oh, contracts. Contracts are useful. I like, I like having contracts because they, um... It's a great way to gain a little bit more experience. Well, let's let's make um. We don't really have a lot of anything. Let's just research doing a custom game engine. I'm not sure if you get the research because the custom game engine lets you put research that you do into a game engine. Every time you use that engine, you get that research. I don't think it's for free. I'm not even sure if it's for a discount. I think you might have to have it in a game engine before you can use it. But let's do it. Let's do the research to make a custom game engine. We really don't have. We want we want to actually be able to do more. Okay. Um, there are a small number. It's it's a pretty significant number at this point for this point in the game. Uh, we we definitely can't do that. We might. Oh, these are really short. I think we could do this. Let's let's try. We can afford to fail this too. If if we do if we if we really mess up, we can afford that. It won't be it won't be the end of the world. We we really messed up. I vastly overestimated. Tim, Tim is just not up to this task. He's just totally, he really, he, oh. He just, he, oh. Just pooped the bed. Fortunately, it's, it's not like against us in any way, but like. Yeah, we need 15. Let's, let's, let's develop a new, uh. What can we do for custom game? Oh, we, we we have some stuff we can put in. Oh, I just bumped the microphone. That's bad. So we there's some stuff we can do. Let's um, let's get let's do one more game. Uh, somehow I canceled that. Mouse clicks aren't quite on. Look at that. It's like off the thing. Anyway, uh, let's develop a new game. Uh, what topics? We could do like a a dance action game. Well, actually, what what do we have? We have a government simulation game. Does this sound like something? This sounds like something we would do for the PC, I think. 
Although, wow, the, the Commodore 64 is like really, it's only 16%. A good, if we do a good job, it won't really matter which, which uh, platform we pick. And so this is going to be um, cam Campaign Tycoon. <laughs> it's, it'll be Campaign Tycoon. It'll be great. So we'll have 2D graphics. You know, we're really, this is going to be cutting edge. Oh, Ninvento released the TS today. Today? Yes, today. This will be cutting edge, cutting edge government simulation game. Now I'm gonna guess that stories and quests aren't that important in a simulation, so we're just gonna cut them out of the, cut them out of all day. Just cut them. We're gonna cut them. Okay, game number three is off the market. It sold worse than our first game. That was our worst game so far, but it wasn't. It wasn't that bad. We made a hundred thousand off it. You know, we just all these people out there who like you know thought oh boy the last two games were pretty good they just bought it they didn't realize that i had just totally like pooped in a box and they had bought it you know and i'm gonna how now i'm gonna have to like pay a lot and get all the extra copies put in a landfill in uh, uh new mexico i think it was it utah i don't remember i'm gonna guess we don't we just we're just gonna focus on sound and graph i think sound is actually in simulation probably i think I think good sound is more important. Like, you know, we're going to simulate that the sound of government. I should have called it the sound of government. Um, hello, gerrymandering, my old friend. I've come to talk to you again. Here we go. Let's get the bugs out of this. we got to work the bugs out. Is that it? Is that... Okay. Is that it? That's really low numbers. That's like... I'm just surprised you think that's finished. Uh, you put another bug in. Get it together, Tim. Let's get let's finish this before this gets too much worse. That, oh, we got a new record. Actually, I guess it was it wasn't that low. We got a new record. Oh, new level up. Oh, leveling up a lot of our content. We're not very good with. Um, I guess we are. Those are already level two. We're actually we're pretty we're well rounded. You know, Tim is a well rounded uh, developer. Level 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 two. Here we go. Release the game. The first reviews for Campaign Tycoon are in. Oh wow, it looks good. Wow. They love they love Campaign Tycoon. Oh man, they love it. They played it played it for days. Oh that is great. Very enjoyable. No tens, but two nines, two eights, that's really that's really good. Let's let's oh I forgot to generate a report on our last game before this one. Let's generate a report on Campaign Tycoon and then let's generate a report on the horrible game number three. Just you know, we wanna gives us free research and you know we the more we the more you know the easier it will be to make good games government and simulation is a great combination i i kind of figured that level design is quite important oh man i think i think i pooped the bet on that one um simulation on pc is a great combination so wow we really we figured out a, a few good combinations there i think that's probably what saved an otherwise uh really kind of horrific combination like you know who really wants to manage a campaign you know Oh man, we look at all. We're just swimming in money. Oh, we were, I forgot to get that for some reason I figured, you know. Let's let's do this. And then um then we'll get all the research we can and we'll make a game engine, I guess. Um let's just do things we can't really do otherwise. Uh Alternate history in RPG is good. Dialogue is very important. Sound is not important. So we learned actually a lot about our RPGs with that one. That was that was good. That was well done. Well done research let's research tutorials it costs us a bit but we're just right now you know we're in a time of plenty right now we can afford to do this you know this will be a, this this game engine is a little nest egg right now we've we've had a few hits you know we've done we've done well you know we've done well for ourselves we released a new game and it, it's building up momentum but you know who knows what the future will hold you know who knows what the future will hold so we should really uh Right now, while we have while we have all this time and money on our hands, we should just put create a game engine with everything we have. You know, that way in the future, when we fall on hard times, you know, when we when maybe we'll become the evil empire, maybe we'll become EA, or maybe we just start you know to lose the touch. Maybe we end up like Rare. Everyone thinks we're going somewhere, and then we just fade away. We have everything we've learned so far saved up in this game engine, and we can just call on it. I should have given it a better name than Game Engine Number One. I, I keep forgetting to name things. Uh, the the TS has proved to be a massive success. 
I think we're probably going to develop for the TES pretty soon here because we everyone knows that you know Commodore's days are numbered. That 64, you know, having the number 64 attached to it helped just as much as it helped Atari to have 64. So you know, I think I think we're going to have to make a switch here. Game engine number one. I think that's that's a pretty good name actually. Engine number one. We should try using. We probably should. So let's see. Oh oh. That was weird. Uh, develop new game, and we're gonna uh, do it. Game engine number one. Holy crap! Look how much market share they took. Big license cost. We can afford to do that, though. You know, we can afford that right now. Uh, so why don't we do a? We're year two, so we're we've been we've been making games pretty quick here. Let's do another fantasy RPG. Cause we know we know this is a good combo. You know, we know, and so we'll be um, like. Uh, dr dragon, <sighs> dragon, dr dragon, dragons, dra just dragons, you know, this was a time when you could just give a game a one word name, you know, nothing, nothing special, and it was, that was the only game called that, you know, well, maybe not, like, you know, there's like baseball for the NES, and there's also baseball for the Atari, and like baseball for the Genesis, even. So maybe, maybe that's not, so we know gameplay is very important. We're just going to put all these things in. Um, because we're cool like that, you know, people are just, this, this is, people will just be shocked. People will be shocked. It'll be electrifying. You know, we've just, people never seen anything like this. We're busting onto the scene. Very early RPG maker for the NES. This is, this is, this is the time to be alive right here. We'll turn this stuff down because I don't know how important, I don't think AI is very important. You play like Final Fantasy. You, you don't. You, you're not playing it because the monsters do really smart things. You play Dragon Warrior. Those enemies just do whatever they please. Oh, look at him. He's just scratching his head. He's just, man. You're really letting me down here. You're slacking. All right. Sound is not as important, so we're just gonna put that at like. Uh, we don't want to turn it all the way off because it's only one minus. It's not two minuses, but it's not. It's not very important. So we're, we'll assume graphics are pretty middle of the road. That looks. Although we know world design is important, so let's. Uh, what do I? What do we want to do? We'll just turn sound all the way off. Graphics. And, there we go. This looks great. Looks great. Design. This game is getting a lot of design, but I think that's that's what we kind of want for an RPG. You know, it's finished, but boy, put eight bugs in there. You know, for more specialized games. Oh, some. Yeah, we want to focus on specific uh, age ranges target audience we want to we probably you know that's a that's a good thing to know know your audience you know who are you making this game for uh, get that bug out of there you put an extra bug in let's finish this before he ruins everything oh, look at that Le engine leveled up gameplay nothing else is leveling up oh artificial intelligence leveled up everything's level two now sound leveled up tim has not leveled up but he's already level two so let's can research mono sound. We should have waited to make this game engine. We should have waited until we had these new things. Oh, people, they're happy. They like it. Eight, eight. This, this is not bad, you know. This is, this is, this is a good one, you know. It's not perfect, but, you know. It's, it's not perfect, but who is, you know, it's. It's good enough. It's what we needed, you know. It's not the game we deserve, but it is the game that we needed. Vina. Oh, man, they're gonna, like, show up and somehow end up being only popular in Europe or something. 